Good morning, students. This is Rafi G. Aguilar, your teachers in the disciplines and ideas in the social sciences. Quarter 2, Week 5. Today we have a new lesson. But before we begin, class, don't forget to visit our official website at guidef. It seems that school slash LCMS. I'll repeat. Gaid F that seems that school slash LCMS. Visit our guide uh, our learning path. Download the PDF, uh, the PDF files there, and of course, don't forget to answer the activities and the quizzes I upload them. So, shall we begin now? Okay. So, let's start. Okay, so our topic for this morning is all about the Institute of the Philippine Cultures Study on Philippine Values. So, by the way, what is values? Do you know about the Institute of the Philippine Cultures? So, Today, we are going to identify, to understand, and to relate the topic that we are going to discuss today. And the topic that we are going to discuss is all about the Institute of the Philippine Cultures Study on Philippine Values. So what are values? So this is the, the questions earlier. So values are abstract and shared ideas about what is desirable and good or correct, they are represent the ideals of the culture. Values are moral imperatives and feelings about what should be or not be, what is good or bad, what is desirable or undesirable. So it's all about good and bad. It's all about the manners, your attitude, if it is good or if it is bad. Okay. The basis of Philippine value orientation, our values had been derived from the racial strains and cultural elements that are Aita, Indonesian, Malayan, Hindu, and Chinese, which form the foundations of the core of our moral conscience and cultural identity as well as cultural elements that were derived from Spain, the United States, and more recently, the global community. The study of values. Sociologists are concerned about values as they are used by an individual or group. Since values are abstract, they cannot be readily identified from what people do, think, or feel they study what motivates the actions of people. They observe the way people behave, listen to what they say, and note the comments and insights made by others who observe this action. Filipino Values Camilo Osayas, 1940, an educator writing on the Filipino way of life. He enumerated some characteristic Filipino traits such as hospitality, politeness, devotion to family ties, and reflected the expression of bahala na. And according to Marcelo Tanco, in the year 1951, an anthropologist Filipino is being friendly, easy, and peaceful life, readily defending himself with his polo and knife. So that's according to Marcelo Tanco. And Camilo Osaya cited that Filipino traits such as hospitality or mapagbigay, no? politeness, devotion to family ties and reflected the expression of bahala na. So if we, um, what, what kind of situations you're handling, you keep on saying bahala na. No? So that's a uh, Filipino trait. That's according to Camilo Osayas. Well, Marcelo Tanko cited that it's, uh, Filipinos are being friendly easy and peaceful life. Filipino values. So, 
Incarnation Alzona. Uh, sorry, Encarnacion Alzona of the year 1966. So, Filipino aspire. So, we aspire courtesy, manliness, dignity. So, first is courtesy, showing gentle manners, saying po at opo to our elders. So, yes. Po at opo. So we keep on saying that that uh, that is why of uh, called as courtesy. Manliness, such as bravery and defense oneself during a fight. So we we defend ourselves during fight, or it's not just literal about fight. Something like you are fighting for for your problems, your the situations that you are um, experiencing. So that is uh, that it, uh, that's how it it shows or it it tells us, no? And of course, the dignity. So what is dignity? Manifested in sensitivity to an affront or slight, especially in the presence of young lady. So dignity. So dignity. That is dignity. So another is the prudence or self-control. So, prudence or self-control to avoid offending one's fellow men and here in speaking. Yes, so we are, uh, Filipinos are providence for self-control. So, that's according to uh, Encarnacion Alzona. No? And we we think first before doing before doing it, right? We think first if it, uh, the, uh, we think for the possible consequences. Either it will uh, hurt somebody or not. And honesty. So upholding the promise and being honest in commercial transactions. So honest. Commercial transaction being honest, no? So you are true to yourself. Something that and then of course the tolerance. So tolerance shown in mutual respect and cooperation with others. So that is tolerance. Uh, Horacio de la Costa on the year 1971 composed the Filipino national tradition. So he composed the Filipino tradition. So what are the, uh, what are this uh, Filipino national tradition? First is pagsasarili or the principle of self-reliance. So pagsasarili. The principle of self-reliance. Meaning you, uh, you learn to become independent. Second is pakikisama or sharing with one's fellow men. So you cooperate, no, with other people. You join them. That is pakikisama. And then pagkakaisa or national unity. So in 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 terms of crisis, we uh, we are as one. So that uh, that is Filipino art. Uh, fourth is pagkabaya pagkabayani. That is heroism, no? And five, pakikipagkapwa tao or human solidarity. So, we can feel solidarity if uh, in any terms of um, any kinds of situations. Like helping with one another. Like, uh, yeah, that is solidarity in any, um, in any different uh, situations Filipinos are. Uh, yes, uh, it is very distinct. When you say distinct, it is very clear or claro, no? Claro na siya sa, uh, claro sa mga uh, Filipinos ang pakikipagkapwa tao or human solidarity. There is a cooperation, there is unity yes, between the individuals living in a particular uh, place and we are Filipinos. We are Filipino. Okay. Social acceptance. Through observation of what Filipinos say and do, do not say and do the choices they make or do not make, the actions they reward and punish. That's according to Father Lynch, 1962, came out with a set of values which have become, which have became the basis of comparison between Filipinos and Americans. So there is a comparison. So there is a variety of range between the the Americans and the Filipinos. So they are both uh, different, no? They are uh, they are different when it comes to uh, the values, the cultures, and many more aspects. 
There are two intermediate values. So what are these two intermediate values? The smooth interpersonal relations or SIR and the pakikisama or what is pakikisama? Um, unity, uh, cooperation, there is something like that. There is a working together, no? That is pakikisama. So let's know first the smooth interpersonal relations or the SIR. So what is SIR? It's a mechanism to avoid potential situation for hiya, shame, or loss phase. So it's a mechanism to avoid potential situation for hiya, shame, or loss phase. And then the pakikisama, it is going along with others even if one is not interested in suggestion or plan. So that is pakikisama. Recipro uh, reciprocity or utang na loob. So that is a uh, debt of gratitude, right? So debt of gratitude that is the uh, utang na loob. It is an obligation to repay a person from whom one has received a favor. Payment may be in the form of token gifts or services. Example, no? For example, so it could be a token gifts or services. See, uh, that's what we call as utang na or a sense of gratitude or depth of gratitude. So that is utang na loob. If someone uh, showed you or helped you in 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 uh, when you are in crisis, no? When you are having problems or yes. So you uh, you keep on saying na I I owe you something. So that something at least is an utang na loob. So you will what? You will do the same thing. Or you will do the same thing because you help that person. I mean that person helped you and you also help them. So that is uh, kumbaga, there is an equal benefit. But uh, the the benefit itself is the positive approach. For in uh, you uh. The person help you for this because you need help and of course you also help that person because that person also needs your help and at the same time uh, it's one way of paying no paying the gratitude that they uh, show to you so even a child is supposed to have putang lalo of to his parent for giving him life and raising him to be what he is a child can repay this by taking care of his parents in their old age. So there are many forms of showing or giving back the good, no? The goodness. Or yes, uh, gratitude. So that's it. There are many. It cannot it can't be just only like for money, but there are many forms or there are many ways for you to give back the uh, what others help you. So, yes, that is a sense of gratitude. So, reciprocity or utang na doon. Bahala na. So, this is the, the, the famous uh, line of, or expression of a Filipino people. No? A Filipino individual. So, we keep on saying that when we are having problems or... If we are not sure about something, then we go for okay, bahala na, bahala na, no, bahala na si Batman. So something like that. We, um, we are it, some kind of being negative, no, but not just really literally. It's negative because uh, the negative there is something like it's it's your driving force, no, it's your driving force in order for you to work or to do the task, even if uh, you think like. You can't do it, but you do it because you keep on saying bahala na. So one way of, I think it's a motivation line. You're driving force for you to do that task, even if you don't want. It. Or if it, even if you feel something negative to it, as long as you uh you keep on saying bahala na. But at the same time, that bahala na is very useful because you keep on doing that. You do the task and saying. Bahala na. So that's a characteristic of a true Filipino, no? If you are a Filipino and you keep, uh, you you are not saying like this, bahala na. I guess you're you're an American or something, no? Away from the Philippines. So bahala na is an expression which is widespread. It's used in bahala na. 
This is used to express the fatalistic outlook of the Filipino. The fatalistic outlook of the Filipino. Social scientists say that this attitude is responsible for the backwardness of the Filipino. It reflected in such expression as gulong ng palad. So, the wheel of fortune, no? That is gulong ng palad, wheel of fortune. Iginuhit ng tadhana. So, destiny. So, suerte. So, yes, so suerte. Luck. Luckiness, no? Malas or chamba. So, those are the Filipino expressions that are common and very distinct to us until today. Right? So, that's an expression which is widespread in its use in bahala na. And this is used to express the fatalistic outlook of the Filipino. Bahala na, there is also the positive aspect of bahala na. So, yes, of course, there is always a positive aspect of the word bahala na. Like courage, oh, as what I'm saying earlier, that it's your driving force. So, that is bahala na, no? It's a courage, fortitude, willingness, concern, trust. And it's big responsibility. Why it's big responsibility? Because you are doing that. That you're just not saying bahala na. You're saying bahala na because you are doing this. And regardless of what are the possible consequences afterwards. Right? So, it's also uh, bahala na. It shows courage, fortitude, and willingness. No? Concern, trust, and expect responsibility. In a very responsive, uh, in a very positive way, bahala na is what makes people move. That's what I told you earlier, no? Uh, take risk and plan for the future. So being ready and doesn't care of what will happen as long as you try, as long as you do. So something like the bahala na is your driving force, no? Your way of uh, doing the things, even if you are not sure. But you are willing to take a rest just to do the task and to surpass it. Closeness and security in the family. So this is one of the values discerned by Bulatao. The family is a stable unit for security and support. So there is closeness and security in the family. So there is an example of that. So, uh... A family should knows uh, yes just knows the members of the family uh, if they are good or they are not respect for elders so respect for elders uh, sees uh, a value in uh, inculcated early in the socialization process so children are made to say po or opo in talking with elders Pagalan can be a deterrent to initiative and resourcefulness. Personalism. So this is the type of security characterizes the relationship in the larger family, especially when personal problems like sickness, financial difficulties, loss of employment, and other misfortune occur. So that is personalism. Hospitality. This is shown in our generosity and kindness in treating our visitors. So there is a visitor, they are welcome. So you, you, you make them feel comfortable, no? Something like that. Something like that. Hospitality. Patient suffering or pagpiti is is shown in the attitude that certain frustrating forces, whether poverty, injustice, sickness, or anything else, are too powerful to be overcome. So there is patient, no? Suffering or pagpiti is. Paninindigan, of course. Sub some into paninindigan are respect and concern, helping in times of crisis or distress. Pagnamay, understanding the limitations of others and regard for others also. That is paninindigan. Sub song. Filipino values and the uh, and the February 22 20, uh, to 25 1986 revolution. So it proved that it is within the Filipinos' capacity to contain an oppressive rule and fight for social equity and freedom. Human barricades, roadblocks performed to stop the onslaught of marine troops and armored tanks. 
Their only weapons were appeals to the soldiers through prayers, rows, and sandwiches. Expression like, Kapwa Filipino tayo, bakit tayo magpapatayan? So, there is an expression. Expression like, Kapwa Filipino tayo, tayo, Filipino tayo, bakit tayo magpapatayan? So, we are all Filipinos. Why we keep on fighting? No? Why we are uh, having war? So, that expression has something to do with our uh, the Filipino itself. We are all as one. Indigenous Filipino values. Enriquez, through his observation and analysis, he was able to call several indigenous Filipino values. To him, the core concept in Filipino interpersonal behavior is kapwa or shared inner self, which is unity of the self and others. Among the values he discussed were pakikipagkapwa, which implies accepting and dealing with a person as an equal and an awareness of shared identity. That is pakikipagkapwa. So, second, kagandahang luob, which is shown in the act of generosity displayed spontaneously on account of the goodness of heart, kabaitan, and inherent graciousness. Third, karangalan or dignity. It refers to a person's self-esteem and has no relation to how others in the society view him. So that is dignidad, karangalan, no? Dignity. Kalayaan or life itself. This implies freedom of the society within the limits of their rules, laws, social norms, or resources. And five, katarungan or social justice, which carries with it the consideration of fairness and promptness in the defense of a certain basic rights and the need for katotohanan and katuliran. Katotohanan, this may be observed in the implementation of justice. Pagkakaisa, this is the highest level of interaction where there is fusion, oneness, and trust or pakikisama and pakikibagay become the compromising norms. Eight, kapayapaan, this is consequence of katarungan and can be observed in situations where one is a victim of injustice. So, kapayapaan. Contenal, uh, contenial values of Philippine independence was celebrated from June 12, 18, 1998 to July 1999. This was to commemorate the proclamation of the Philippine independence from Spain. Our freedom was obtained through the patriotism and bravery of our heroes. These values are patriotism, pagka makabansa, nationalism, pagka makabayan, fairness, pagka maging patas, determined will, katatagan o tibay ng loob, commitment, pakikilahok, peace, kapayapaan, unity, pagkakaisa, protecting the environment, pagka makakalikas, and the core values on the basis of the foregoing philosophy of human person, the seven core values in consonants with it are health, truth, love, spirituality, social responsibility, economic sufficient, nationalism, and patriotism, and the global solidarity. Health implies physical well-being and cleanliness. Truth implies the tireless quest for knowledge in all its forms and the development of creative and critical thinking to meet the challenges of the modern world. Love implies the, the quest for personal integrity and development of self-worth or self-esteem, honesty, and personal discipline. Human existence, especially experiences such as love and suffering, points to a reality beyond once and experiences. Social responsibility implies the strengthening of the family as the foundation of the nation and the basic autonomous society weathering the impact of modernization and technology. Economic efficiency is achieved by people through work, the exercise of human mastery over the resources of nature and creative imagination in the solution of complex problems. Nationalism and patriotism in love of country. 
The need for a moral recovery program, we had our shining moments during the EDSA revolution as we showed to ourselves and to the world our sterling qualities as a people. First, a sense of patriotism and national pride, genuine love, appreciation, and commitment to the Philippines and things Filipino. Second, a sense of common good, looking beyond one's selfish interests, a, a sense of justice and outrage when violated, a sense of integrity and accountability and abhorrence of graft and corruption in one's society, the value and habits of self-reflection, and analysis and internalization of spiritual values, and then the value and habits of discipline and hard work. And that's all for today, class. Thank you for having your time with me. I hope that you've learned something from our discussion this morning. That would be all, and of course, keep safe and stay awesome. God bless everyone. Bye.